from murderous mafiosos to scheming terrorists. Italy's prisons are inhabited by some of the most cold-blooded people in the world. Its ongoing issue of overcrowding also means that these places are not safe, even for the prison guards. Brace yourself as I give you a peek over the walls of Italy's 15 most dangerous prisons. Number 15. Pagliarelli Prison Pagliarelli Prison is based in Sicily, and its main objective was to deal with organized crime on this beautiful Italian island. Little did they know, the grim walls of this prison would force one of the Mafia's most ruthless killers to take his own life. Gaetano Lopresti was a leader of the Sicilian Mafia, but wasn't careful over the phone and mentioned a lot of information that was useful for the police. Despite being in a maximum security prison, he was afraid of revenge killings, so he decided to take his own life before anyone else could. This was back in 2008. Eight, but conditions in recent times don't seem to be great either. Due to the riot that erupted during COVID-19, the place is overcrowded by 7%. But as we'll see in this video, there are much worse prisons across the country. This prison is just a starter to whet your appetite. Number 14. Regina Coeli Rome's Regina Coeli is a former convent for nuns and went from housing saints to sinners. But sometimes, behind these walls, the biggest danger for prisoners is themselves. In this prison was a young man named Valerio Guerrieri. He suffered from a severe mental mental disorder, so living inside prison did not make things easier. His records say that he told guards that he did not present any danger to other criminals, but did present a danger to himself. He was deemed incompatible with prison and should have been transported to a psychiatric ward. However, there was no space for him at the time, so they decided to keep him in this prison for the foreseeable future. However, when a prisoner tells you that they are at risk of self-harm, you simply cannot leave them to their own devices. But this prison was understaffed and there wasn't even a guard on every floor. And Tragically, the psychiatrist who was supposed to see him never turned up. His fellow inmates even admitted that he looked like he was preparing something. On the 24th of February 2017, Valerio was found in the bathroom of his cell with a sheet tied around his neck. He had committed suicide at just 22 years old. Number 13. Vicenza Prison Vicenza Prison is no stranger to overcrowding either. In November 2019, 100 prisoners were transferred to the prison, all of which had links relating to organized crime. This prison's total capacity is 286, but already holds more prisoners than its capacity. The arrival of these extra 100 brought it up to 415. They sent crowds to an already overcrowded prison. Italian politician Mara Bizzotto mockingly referred to this transfer as prison tourism and means that some prisoners will need to transfer for miles and miles to appear during their trials. And it might be a tad naive to transport mobsters across the country without anticipating some sort of surprise attack along the way. Mafiosos in jail are reserved for 41 BIS penal code, which prevents them from running their clan from behind bars, so they're subject to bigger scrutiny than most. When this law was introduced in the 1970s, five car bomb attacks were implemented across Rome, Florence and Milan, killing 10 people and injuring dozens more. And as we'll explore, the Mafia continue to prevail inside Italy's prisons. Number 12. Removal Center for Illegal Immigrants At number 12, I'm going to throw a little curveball your way, for this is not a prison by name, but its inhabitants like to think differently. Italy is situated along the Mediterranean Sea, and on the other side is war-torn Libya, so thousands upon thousands have fled across the sea in small boats in search of a better life. But through these centers, the better life they searched for can often be even worse. In the documentary Justice in Italy, one of the residents said, <laughs> And he then shows the camera crew around. So, this is not called a prison, but the people inside are forced to live here under extremely harsh and dangerous conditions. And if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it might well be a duck. Number 11. Ucciardone Prison But moving back to conventional prisons and back to Sicily, we have Palermo's Ucciardone Prison. The New York Times in 1991 wrote about this prison as, It might not be a bad idea to install a revolving door. That way, at least the mafiosi would not have to strain themselves unduly as they go in and out. This prison was sarcastically referred to as the Grand Hotel, and the prison allowed mafia bosses to wear fine-cut suits and enjoy extravagant meals. Mobster Michel Catalano once held a lobster banquet in the gym of this jail, whereas a godfather got to host his daughter's wedding in the prison's chapel. But this has all changed through the Sicilian governor, Rita Barbera. She decided that wearing any designer labels such as Prada, Gucci, Valentino, Versace, Louis Vuitton, and Armani are all 
understand. One mob wife said, my husband will be left naked. Barbera said that the popular image of this jail is linked to the silk suits of godfathers and we need to cancel that image. The jail is not limited to organized crime members. In fact, many of them are low income immigrants and Italians who get used clothing donations from prisoner charities. So now in this prison, it's a lot more difficult to distinguish between the mafiosos and ordinary criminals. But given that mafiosi like to dissolve their enemies in acid, maybe the idea of making them indistinguishable from other criminals is not such a good one. Number 10. Badu Ekaros. Based on the island of Sardinia, Badu Ekaros prison is the home of violent mobsters from the Cosa Nostra, Camorra, and Ndrangheta. Mullah Kreker, a leader of what's known as the Kurdish Taliban, also resides between these walls. With so many unsavory characters all under the same roof, conflict is inevitable. And in January of 2022, blood was spilled on the prison floors. A quarrel broke out between two prisoners, and things escalated rather quickly. The reasons behind the argument are not known. But eventually, punches were leveled at the faces of one another, causing one of them to collapse on the ground in a pool of blood. This person was expected to undergo maxillofacial surgery and, of course, move to a different prison. There are people you simply don't mess with inside this prison. However, the key mafiosi are often isolated from the rest of the prisoners and sometimes even serve life sentences in isolation. Marcello Delana, a former leader of the Sacra Corona Unita Mafia in southern Italy, describes it as a tomb for the living. As we'll explore in other prisons on this list, these isolated cells are often compared to torture chambers and depriving prisoners of human contact gradually drives them insane. Number 9. Prison of Pisa Don Bosco At this prison in Pisa, inmates had finished their daily exercise. They were asked to go back to their cells, but they refused. Instead, they decided to set fire to the furnishings in this building. This was in 2022, but almost a replica of this event happened in August of 2017, following the suicide of a young Tunisian inmate. The prisoners protested and threw furniture and set fires. They argued that the current conditions in the prison were degrading. One of the prisoners compared the prison to a keg full of gunpowder waiting to go off. Due to the presence of prisoners who are difficult to manage, due to the dilapidated structure, as well as the serious lack of staff, especially in the role of non-commissioned officers, is a powder keg and deserves the right attention from the administrator's top management prison. If these four walls could talk, they would not have nice things to say. The degrading conditions of the inmates go back as far as the 1970s. Franco Serratine was a militant anarchist and anti-fascist who was sent to this jail, and the guards decided to beat his revolutionary spirit right out of him. He complained to the doctor of headaches and was prescribed some medication, but Serratine died the next day. His group confronted the prison's doctor, Alberto Mamoli, and shot him three times, believing that the doctor had killed him. Number 8. Modena Prison This prison, in the southern city of Foggia, also experienced major riots at the height of the pandemic in 2020. In fact, 50 inmates managed to escape. The place was in chaos, and furniture was set on fire too. One of the mattresses let off such a powerful smoke that inhaling the smoke killed one of the inmates. During these riots, the prison infirmary was raided, and many of them raided the meds cabinets. Quite disturbingly, a total of six inmates overdosed. It's difficult to tell whether they were former addicts, didn't know how much they should take, or worst of all, if this was a cooperated suicide attempt. Number 7. San Vittore Prison Milan's San Vittore was once a place to hold political prisoners during Italy's period under fascism. In fact, Nazi SS guards would carry out torture right between these walls. In the 21st century, this jail continues to be the scene of gross inhumanity. Normally, the prison chaplain is the person you can turn to in your darkest hour. But in this jail, the man supposedly spreading the word of God was the real criminal. Friar Alberto Barin was accused by six non-Italian inmates of demanding sexual favors in exchange for food and better living conditions. His abuse took place between the years of 2008 and 2012, but he had been working there since 1997. Like many prisons on this list, the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic caused riots and mayhem. In San Vittore prison, they barred any visits from friends or family, and the inmates just flipped. Chaos ensued with inmates climbing to the top and asking for pardons. Some of the prison was also set on fire as well. Later that year, it was revealed that this prison was incredibly overcrowded. This premises is meant to hold only 754 inmates, but it was holding 973, an overcrowding figure of 29%. But this is now the norm, rather than exception, in a lot of Italy's prisons. Number 6. Rebibia Prison Rome's Rebibia Prison is home to the famous assassin Mehmet Ali Akka, who shot and wounded Pope John Paul II. Francesco Schettino, the former shipmaster of the Costa Concordia, where 32 people died, is another notorious 
notorious resident. But the famed mafioso Giuseppe Fanara is one who the gods will know to steer clear of more than any. He has been serving a life sentence, and in 2020, when gods came in to inspect his cell, he decided to unleash his anger. He began attacking the gods and ended up biting one of their fingers. The bite was so strong that he managed to bite it right off. Rather than allowing the gods to put it on ice and sew it back on, he decided to swallow this god's finger. He then took out a broomstick and threatened the other gods and shouted, I'll slit your throats like pigs. Number 5. Sassari High Security Like many countries in the Western world, Italy is also the home of many Islamic extremists, and Sassari High Security Jail is where many of Europe's biggest threats are sent. And because a lot of them are sent to the same place, this is a breeding ground for radicalization. In fact, a lot of these prisoners don't speak Italian and can only speak Arabic. Similarly, the prison guards only speak Italian and cannot speak Arabic. People who literally fought for ISIS in Syria are within these walls. One terrorist within these walls spent his time in Syria torturing and abusing people for refusing to fight for ISIS and gave people electric shocks until they converted to Islam. Guards are quick to monitor behavior of these people. One of the strangest things they do is see how they respond to news of major terrorist attacks. There's a chance that they could be celebrating. Number 4. Prison Terni Prison Terni is another prison which has some horrific incidents, and in August 2022, there were days of blood and violence. One evening, at 11 p.m., a guard was undergoing one of his routine walks around the cell block, and in the corner of his eye, he saw blood. A Moroccan inmate was suddenly transported to hospital. It was revealed that the cuts were implemented using a simple shaving blade. The blade was torn through his skin, leaving behind a large loss of blood. He died later in the hospital that evening. Later that week, a guard on security duty was attacked for what has been described as futile reasoning. The inmate had overpowered the guard, and there were no other guards to help him. In fact, the only person who came to his aid was another inmate. Presumably, he will probably be able to shorten his sentence as a result. Fabrizio Bonino, National Secretary for the Police Department in the region, said that Terni is a prison that is now out of control, with a serious shortage of staff. He also referred to the lack of weapons prison guards are allowed to carry and the persistence of psychiatric patients in regular prisons. Number 3. Frosinone Prison Frosinone Prison is just outside of Rome, and many inmates have links to the Camorra. One evening, an inmate was given permission to use the shower, but once the guard opened the door, he realized that the prisoner had a gun pointing straight at his stomach. Faced with the proposition of being shot, the guard had to keep quiet. The prisoner then forced him to hand over the keys to other cells. But all did not go according to plan. At some of the cell doors, he struggled to open them. Perhaps the guard had tricked him and given him different keys, or perhaps he was just incredibly incompetent. So he realized the time was ticking and shot the other inmates through the bars of the cell, but didn't manage to injure any of them. And then, other guards arrived with guns of their own, and he was forced to surrender. He handed over his gun, and it was revealed that he was also carrying a phone. So so he handed over the phone as well. But before doing so, he swallowed the SIM card. It's believed that the gun was smuggled into the prison via drone. The SIM card swallowing prisoner is believed to be attached to a criminal clan. Number 2. Poggio Reale Prison In Poggio Reale Prison in Naples, you do not under any circumstances want to be brought into room zero. In prison records, this prison cell will be marked down an isolation cell. But off the record, this place has been described as a torture chamber. It is alleged that this is a room where guards can viciously beat prisoners who have rubbed them the wrong way. Way. There is no proof of this because, rather conveniently, there are no CCTV cameras in these cells. The walls have been found covered in blood, so you do the math. You could argue that the guards need an ambiguous room like this in order to keep its inmates in check. The most humiliating fact about this prison is that the mafioso Rafael Cutolo managed to run his mob during his entire life sentence. In the late 1970s, he challenged the first boss of the Camorra, Antonio Spavone, to a duel out in the prison yard and told him to bring a flick knife with him. But Cutolo was so feared that Spavone chickened out on him, and this meant that Cutolo was highly respected across the entire prison. By 1980, he had 10,000 affiliates. He managed his cartel up until the age of 79 and died in his prison bed in 2021. Number 1. Santa Maria Capua Vetere Prison Riots also emerged at the beginning of the pandemic at Santa Maria Capua Vetere Prison. But the guards were quick to stop this protest, and footage emerged of just how brutal they had gotten with the inmates. The distressing footage shows prison guards using their truncheons unprovoked, punching them and even pulling their hair. There was also a walk of shame, where they had to walk by a line of guards while getting punched by almost every one of them. The prisoners had demanded face masks, but these were not given to them. As you can see in the video, having a face mask to stop the spread was a luxury only given to the prison guards. When we see physical abuse like this, we tend to only think of the physical pain inflicted upon them. However, the wounds from these were more than skin deep. One prisoner told Republica, In the video, I am the hooded one, the one taking blows to the head, back, and legs. Even though I'm out of the prison, I haven't slept for weeks. As we've seen throughout this video, these prisons can be a danger to mind, body, and soul. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the videos you see in front of you for more from Unexplained.